How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a good day today. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the certain colors in images or photos in Affinity Photo version 2. So basically what this gonna, is going to entail is say, for example, you have like a green part of an image, like a color green, and you want to change that to a blue, red, yellow, orange, whatever color it may be. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. So let's hop right into it. So to start, what you're going to want to do is to get your image ready and whatnot, and then you're going to want to go to your adjustments, and then we're going to go to HSO. So what this is going to do is bring you like kind of like a color table. So um, for this example, I'm going to change this yellow um, pencil lead to a different color. So what you'll do first is if you want to change the yellow, come over here and you'll select the yellow and then you'll go down to your hue shift and then you can just move this along the slider and it'll kind of change corresponding to what you want um as i move this you can kind of see uh this pencil led to the left and also this one also change a little bit because there are hues of yellow in it so in order to fix that let's uh bring this back to zero or whatever you can move these little nodes on the color wheel closer to yellow so let's bring everything in make that as close to yellow as possible so now as you can see it's only really affecting that yellow it's it's really honed in on that yellow color so it's only going to be affecting this now so it's not really touching this or this it's only affecting the, the uh, super yellow parts of that image so there's that. You can also mess around with your saturation of the color and um, your luminosity of it, but to really change like your color from like green to red or like red to blue or whatnot, like drastically change the color, uh, the hue shift is really going to do everything for you. So yeah, there's our first example. So let's hop into more of a realistic image uh, and see what kind of thought process would be taking on something like that. So with a maybe more realistic image that you might edit yourself, like this one right here, um, what you can do is basically the same thing with the adjustments. So um, go to HSL, um, and for this right here, I'll just try to change the color of the peaks or whatnot. So we'll go to red, kind of get this in that zone, bring it down. To capture a little bit more of the yellow because it is more of an orange than a pinkish hue. So this is a time where I'll touch the saturation and luminosity because when you're changing the hue shift right here, you're not going to find like a gray or something like that that's going to match the color of everything else in the image. So if we lower saturation right there, it's, it's getting pretty close right there. And we knock the luminosity down. Look at that. It pretty much changed the image right there. Um, takes that out. If we want to just make it look like there is still some like light shining in the image, like so. Um, there, there you have. Um, that'll do it right like that. So there's that. Um, say we want to change some of these trees, right? Say we want to change the course of these trees up front. So we'll we'll grab actually all these trees. We'll try. Um, we'll give it a kind of a more warmer feel towards the front of the image, kind of like that. So, yeah. As you can see, um, we changed the top of the peaks of the mountains and changed the trees right here extremely fast. It was very quick changes. Um, get in there, play with it yourself. There's a lot of like easy, uh, quick fixes you can do with the HSL adjustment so um, you know play with it try it out uh, let me see what you can do thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked the video please consider dropping a like and subscribing it helps me out a lot helps me grow the content so yeah I'd really appreciate it and I got something big in store coming for you guys so just hold on to your seats and I'll uh, bring it out to you guys shortly in a couple weeks or so so yeah there's that um, 
thank you guys so much for watch watching. I'll see you in the next one.